Look around you. Everything you see has a color. Different shades, different tones, like those of your classroom, your uniform, or your pencil. All these colors help you see opaque objects. Opaque means anything you can't see through, like your hand or the walls of your classroom. Go on. Can you look through them? No, they are opaque. But why does an object appear to be of a certain color? Why is an apple red and not blue, or the grass green and not pink? Let's take a closer look. Light from the sun or even a bulb consists of a whole spectrum of colors: red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. When light hits an object, each color hits that object. But only the actual colors of the object are reflected; the rest are absorbed. The colors that get reflected are the colors of that object. So we can say the color of an opaque object depends on the color or colors of the light it reflects. For example, look at this. What color do you see? Orange. That's right. What's happening to the other colors? They're being absorbed. Now, what do you suppose happens if all the colors were reflected? What would we see then? White. The color white appears when all colors of the spectrum are reflected. But what would happen if all these colors were absorbed? What would we get if nothing was reflected? Black. Black is the absence of light and color. Things that appear black to us appear so because they absorb everything. Time for an exercise. This is a yellow rose. Correctly identify which colors are going to be reflected and which will be absorbed. The rose will reflect the yellow color light. All the other colors will be absorbed. Now you know why it appears yellow to your eyes. Let's summarize what we have learned today. The color or colors of an object is the color or colors of the light it reflects. We see white when all the colors of the spectrum are reflected. We see black when all the colors of the spectrum are absorbed.